when I went to school in first, second, and third grade, I had to wear a little pin on my lapel with a picture of young Vladimir Lenin. And there were pictures of him everywhere because it was like a cult of personality. Mm. And I think one of the many reasons that people like Zelensky, the president of Ukraine, so much is because in his inaugural speech when he became president, he said, please do not put my picture on your wall. Instead, put a picture of your family and think of them every time you make a decision. And I think that really underlines the difference. You know, he, he's referencing the previous hundred years right. where I grew up. There's pictures of Lenin, Stalin, and now Putin everywhere. And he said, you know, don't do that. It underlines the difference between them. Ukraine represents all of its people, while Russia represents being under the thumb of a single evil man and, and his ego. So that's why we're supporting Ukraine right now, because we know that they're fighting for that freedom to be themselves and, and to have an ethical society with the U.S. and Europe as beacons. So well said, Kostya. All right. So show us your stuff. Show us some. What can you show us? And I'll, I'll, I'll go off screen so I'm not upstaging you. But what, what are you going to do for us? Let's do it. Let's do it. Um, you know, I'd love to show you a little magic. It's difficult trying to create a magic trick about something awful and depressing like war because magic is meant to create positive surprise and joy. So I have a whole studio set up. I'm, I'm watching you guys here on my screen right over here. I've got my overhead view as well. So wow. what I did was I, I took these Sharpie markers and I wanted to create a magic trick that would be a, a little bit helpful and, and hopeful. And that made me think of my background being from the Soviet Union where money was either stolen or, or squandered. And of course, it's known as the, the USSR, Soyuz Sovietskih Socialistic Republic. But for me, growing up, and I got to get these letters just right, because if I get them right, you see, especially the S and the U, right. I'm going to be able to, uh, to show you something special with this and a little bit of shuffling in just a moment. I think I've got it. Yes. So. Soviet Union, their money is spent on military and on weapons and on creating the perception of power rather than investing in their own people. And so because in part of the squandering in 91, the Soviet Union ends up being dissolved, right? It ends up disappearing. And out of that ash comes a, a colorful new future. Ukraine, my birthplace, could begin anew. The, uh, the glory of the blue and the yellow of yeah. their flags starts to emerge. But creating a democracy requires organization, restructuring, hard work, and grit. So you see, while the Soviet Union fell apart, the Ukrainian people saw a different future, and they saw freedom around them in Europe, in the opportunities in the West. So the strong people of Ukraine kept their eye focused on a brighter future, a future of freedom, and they continued to organize, they work, they restructured some more. And as you can see in this deck of playing cards, Eventually, what emerged was their efforts at organizing and nation building created a clear future for all of them. Whoa. And now we have this glorious Ukrainian flag with the blue representing the sky and the yellow, the infinite wheat fields. And behind this great flag stands a people who are organized and prepared. Yeah. And I know this is a, a magic metaphor, but like this deck of cards, you see this deck, even though I've been shuffling, has now gone back to brand new deck order. Yes, with all the yes. cards in place. And, and this is like the Americans, excuse me, this is like the Ukrainians who are on, on their way to a fresh start filled with freedom, love, and, and opportunity. And so I want to thank you and your viewers because as I drive around my home of Orlando, I see Ukrainian flags all over. They bring me to tears. So for your moral and financial support, I thank you. And together, instead of the Soviet Union now, we say Slava Ukraine. Yes. <laughs> there we go. That's amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for joining us. Stars in the House for Ukraine. Thank you. Thank you, everybody.